<clears throat> Hi guys, this is um, Optic, and here I'm going to explain how to, uh, sorry, how I um, did uh, did this game, this level 4. So, I think you all know now, it scrambles a word, a random word, and it tells me, it tells you to uh, unscramble. So, this looks pretty obvious, leg. Do that. Incorrect. There we go. And let's see if I can try to get it wrong. Da 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 da. It's incorrect. Try a different word. Alright, that's obviously coffee. Let's see what happens if I just click off. So, okay, it's all, all working nice and neat, right? And I'm going to go through the code now, okay, if you guys don't mind. So, oop, we jumped a bit far, my bad. Sorry. Okay, so the moment the button's clicked, and that is obviously the initialize button here. Um, all this blah 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 stuff will happen, okay? So right now, I use a try, you know, for errors, it catches, blah blah blah. And, okay. So, first, I'm going to dimension, create a variable, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thing, uh, uh, dimension thing called word chosen, as in integer. And so this word chosen will be relating to well one of these words and I've, I've named it as an integer because <clears throat> because um it's going to be one of these elements it's going to act one of these right I'll, I'll explain further throughout so it's going to choose a random number okay and with choosing that random number it's going to choose a random word okay just keep just follow up all right so now I'm going to create the array word list. There's only a hundred, so when I say random, it's not really completely random. You'll eventually find the same words over and over again, I'm pretty sure. So there you go, a hundred words, including the zero, that's why it's not that. <clears throat> um, forget about this line. Um, dim strength word to display. Okay, so word to display is going to be the word that is going to be... it's going to be the word that's scrambled, okay? So when I mean, so it's going to be this word, okay? It's going to be that word. This word is a strength, is a word to, um, string, word to display. Okay? <clears throat> and here's your attempt to unscramble. Okay, this is going to be responsible for comparing, um, it's going to be compare, um, uh, here you go. It's responsible for comparing, um, the original word against the user's typed in word. So, so what I mean by that, as in, well, when I'm <laughs> that meaning, right? So <clears throat> the user attempt to unscramble is what we're typing now, okay? What that that's what we're typing. And I'm gonna explain this one. Non modified word chosen. So this word is going to be the word that's not scrambled. Sorry, excuse me. It is not scrambled. So that's the word that's correct, okay? That's the word that's not scrambled. It's gonna be one of these words, right? It's gonna be necklace. So let's go through that again. Strength word to display is the word that is scrambled. This is a user's attempt to scramble, that's why I've named it like that. So what he types is going to be that variable. And this is the word well, it's not scrambled, and that's for um comparing purposes, you know, if you're correct. So here we go. So if attempt to unscramble equals the non-modified word chosen which is non-modified word chosen equals well the string okay um well oh, sorry I, I, I jumped a step sorry guys so this strength word list is one of these arrays and I explained this um, earlier through word chosen so word chosen is remember the random number right it's it's the it's a random number and it's going to go between 0 to 99, 0 to 99, okay? And so that's a number, and now it's act as an, as an, this, this bit is an array, is one of these um, texts, because this is the word chosen, and that's the string name, uh, array, uh, array name, sorry. And, well, there we go. So back to here, sorry guys. User attempt to unscramble equals non modified chosen word, okay? So remember, this is the word, and this is the user to attempt, so. It's, it's, um, let's go here. So remember, this is the user attempt to unscramble, and the non-modified word is well the correct word. 
I uh, I can't really read that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll try to try a different one. See, see. Oh, there we go. Coffee. All right. Coffee. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry my language. <clears throat> Correct. There we go. Um. Now we're going to. Um. Sorry, guys. I've blanked out. Uh. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. So I've explained what each variable does. Okay, now I'm going to show you how it's 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 scrambling the word the word chosen. Okay. So here I am calling the function scrambled word. So I've I've created a function. I'll show you it in in a moment right now. And these functions are responsible, as I said, for scrambling a word. So it's going to put this strength word to display. Remember, this is the word that's going to be scrambled due to this function here. So it's going to, uh, um, you kind of got to learn what a function is first, it's kind of hard for me to explain. Um, so a function basically, it would, you, you call a function and then it will return a value. That's basically what a function, function's role is supposed to do. So you call it and it will return a value, um, whatever para parameter you gave it. So we've, we've given it um, the listed array the the um a, t a text right so we're going to call a function that's responsible for scrambling our word and I've put my function all the way up here here we go yeah function scrambled word and the parameter is strength word scrambled okay so I'm going to dim int index this is going to be responsible for looping um oh sorry let me, don't let me jump yet dim I'm just, I'll just show you all the variables dim car letter char letter whatever you want to call it as a car, um, char, whatever, <clears throat> and basically what this is is it's a it's its own type of um, what do you call it variable in a way. It's basically you you've stated it as a single character, hence its name car, jam, car, car, char, <laughs> and dim word as new Aurelius. Now you're probably wondering what this thing is it's kind of a new thing I think so I, I used to just do um array I've hardly worked with arrays I'm surprised I actually got this working <clears throat> but they have been suggested to just use this it's, um, apparently it's easier to be it's um, flexible and such um, so I'll get rid of this you don't need to know that yet for int index equals zero so this is our loop it's responsible for giving a loop around zero to um, string word to scramble. So remember, word to scramble is well the word that needs to be scrambled. So it's unscrambled right now, okay? And it's going to this loop is um, going to strip every letter of the word and well put it into um, one variable. In I mean, sorry, put it into an array. So think about this analogy, okay? We have a CD rack, okay? CD rack, and it's got um, slots of different slots for uh, different CDs, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're creating.